Sun. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful um, support. Um, you Pisces, you rock. I love you. You guys are super, super sweet when you're vibrating on a positive energy vibration. Okay. When you're not vibrating on a positive energy vibration, you guys are. But I love you. Um, remember to listen to your sun, moon, rising sign. Um, this is a month of water energy, so it's going to be a positive month. So, um, if you're wishing and hoping for anything, it's good to go listen to um, the sun, moon, and rising, and remember to call sweet so you can know what's coming up for your partner, so you will know whether or not your partner. Um, is having an affair or um, what your partner is up to so you can know what's coming up for them um, yeah um, another thing is that the energy of the month is water but it has to do with a lot of scorpion um, whatever the energy of scorpion comes up is that your enemies you're going to be see, we're seeing your enemies they're going to be coming out it's like the energy of the scorpion they basically bring out the enemies um, your enemies okay it could be other scorpions that working against you and that sort of a thing what I'm loving about your month is that you have the energy of the star thank God because I was just having eight 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 you know that is financial abundance but with the energy vibration and it's more of you have to be looking inside for inner um, craft okay the energy of the star is a very very wonderful and a positive energy but the energy of the star is very wonderful it's very positive it is something that is um, out of this world um, it is giving you hope it is a hope in hopes wishes hopes and dreams coming true so this is good it's the month of four weeks and um, it's a month of October it's kind of weird that October have four weeks it's always five weeks so let's see what's happening before the first week. The first week you have the six of bars. The six of bars has to do with a past karmatic life situation. This could be your family on this planet, but this could also be past life. The six of bars is always the energy of the past life. These are people who are coming back in your life. So um, I love this card because if you or a Caucasian and you're looking at this and you're thinking about the past like yes um, we all came in in different colors okay so all the Caucasians was of all the different race so yes okay um, so you might be um, connecting with your your little dreadlocks, past life family people. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Okay, I'm laughing, but I'm really serious about this. Um, and you know, you can actually see um who you were in a past life, and this is it. Um, check out Sacred Soul because she does past life, and I'm telling you, she's right on point. Um with the past life readings I've been receiving messages about that she's right on point she has does, done my past life reading and I knew all of my past life so um, she was really correct I was like okay <laughs> so you could be realizing that you are dreading your past life this could affect you a whole lot <laughs> but anyway it's all about past life it's all about the family um, and it's all about what's happening at this moment in the first week it's going to be something to do with the past 
temperance this is first time temperance comes up and some of you need to balance out a situation as I said you're being stressed out from a situation and um, whatever the situation is and whatever energies that you're going through is a past life karmatic situation that comes back and you need to work out some situations okay then we have the eye princess that is coming up this is your energy vibration in the third week the third week is going to be a very very positive week whatever is happening in the third week it's going to be extremely extremely positive because the eye princess is your energy vibration you pisces and the energy of the sun oh, thank you pisces no one else has received the energy of the sun Hey, imagine yes thank you for bringing out the Sun I really need some Sun in my life too I swear wonderful so you have water which is good then you have um, because the first week is going to be family past family issues karmatic issues that are coming back and you need to find balance with this and some of it could be with a Virgo for some of you but some of it is just past life issues that you have to find balance with as we look at the third week it's a wonderful powerful week um, third week and the fourth week is the best weeks for you guys let's see what else is happening um, um, some of you are looking for a different it's as if you've been in this karmatic situation with your family or friends or that sort of a thing and you're looking for something better i i do understand that help is going to be coming in for you guys in the second week going in the third week so you will find what it is you're looking for because some of you are been stuck for quite some time in this real karmatic situation um, with someone you're dealing with and um, it's as if now you're thinking oh, I, I just need to get out of this I can't take this anymore nine of Pentacles money is going to be coming in um, from the third week going in the fourth week your financial stability is going to be extremely good so that's good news for um, you Pisces so if you were having a whatever financial instability um, you know, caught the luxury by the luxury by the luxury in the last week because it is also the wheel of fortune and the sun in the general readings, and you have the sun and the nine of tools. So, by the luxury, a new start is coming in, a new start is coming in. So, that was what I was saying. Um, that some of you, um, basically has um, some situation that you're dealing with. But a new start is going to be coming for you. Help is going to be coming via your intuition. You're going to be receiving the guidance and the help. And you are going to be having a new start for yourself. And the six of um, the, the six of um, candles. And this is good. Six of candles. This is wonderful. The end of the third week going in the fourth week is going to be uh, positive energies for you Pisces because what is transpiring and what is happening is basically that <clears throat> the um, the eye princess and the universal princess and guides um, help is going to be coming in the good news is going to be coming about your financial situation the energy of the Sun is here and it's going to be positive what is the outcome for you Pisces oh you guys are going to be connecting with someone it's going to be love uh, I don't know. I'm so in love with love itself. I swear. I love it. Some transformation. The energy of you guys are here. Um, some transformation is coming in. So if you guys have been um, stagnant and blah, 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 um, cancer. The energy of the cancer is here I so they're going to be helping so you have the scorpions who are going to be helping you and the cancers who are going to be helping you in this month so far 
um, you Pisces have gotten one of the best, best readings so far, okay? Um, there's hope, there's faith that is coming in. Um, this energy of transition is transitioning you out of a phase because I'm seeing here a new start and some good news. A new start with someone who you care about and some good news is about to come in. So it's as if um, you guys have been connected with someone um, that is uh, um, of a past life because um, they're coming from the first week. Some of you are going to be connecting with someone of a past life. This is going to bring a new start in your life. And you both are connected on a very high energy vibration. The second week where there was temperance, you are going to be thinking about um, moving forward, looking for something better. And you're looking for a new start with someone new. You want a new relationship. This is going to be working out. Um, third week, wonderful energy, some help is going to be coming in. Good news about money is going to be coming in. And the energy of the sun is here. Nothing can make your life misery in the month of October. Absolutely not. Okay. So, um, this is good. This is positive. Let's see what other energies are here. We have the creator of the tool. So, you're going to be learning how to make money flow for you okay so this is good and you are going to be learning how to make money basically flow for you then you have the magician of the tombs which is so wonderful you Pisces are very creative or you have an eye understanding you're going to be researching something whatever you're going to be researching is going to help you to create financial stability in your life and then the outcomes she keep on coming up for a lot of um, a lot of you and this is um, you need um, balance you need to clear your thoughts your think belt you just need to clear it okay you need to bring balance to it whatever the situation is that is transpiring you really need to clear your thought belts and bring some balance and it I'm serious really serious Alright, I've so far. I hope you guys heard this because I've gone so far without um, my headsets. Alrighty. Um, so, as we go further, um, we're going to be doing the extended um, to this reading. Um, if you would like um, to follow us on on demand you can press the link below and for the people who were leaving here I want to say thank you for being here and thank you for the wonderful support likes and shares and um, please um, cross watch because it's going to bring you a lot of information um, so far it's a wonderful month for you guys so we're moving forward and now we are going to be looking at what is happening what is transpiring it's a beautiful reading actually so I'm going to be doing something differently because um, it was <laughs>